this. I want to come back to, you know, the attack by the Prime Minister. It is part political, part semantic, if you will. But he has turned around and, and tried to turn the tables on the India alliance, saying that just because you call yourself India doesn't mean you cannot be politically attacked. I mean, the comparison to the East India Company, the Indian Mujahideen, Popular Front of India, basically saying that just because you have India in your name doesn't mean you have the best interests of the country uh, in your mind. So, how are you going to counter this politically, Jyotimani? Uh, Zaka, before getting into that, I would like to uh, point out, before you include the Rajiv Gandhi government in the contemporary history who won 404, please, huh? four seats. Okay. See, this, this is unbecoming of a Prime Minister <laughs> to speak like this, to equate your country, your name of your country to East India Company and rest of the banned organizations. It's, it's, a, it's a, in my, I have seen this as a language of a loser. Prime Minister knows actually he's going to lose, he's going to lose badly. The idea of India, which he is precisely attacking, is what actually the India Alliance is representing. He knows what we are doing, what, what will be the impact of this India Alliance. Earlier, Prime Minister, BJP used to say, we will win the election in the name of Modi, in the name of BJP. Now, why do they need 36, 38 alliances? Suddenly, they were, were so fond of them and making them as a very big alliance. Suddenly, they are thinking of the NDA. And now, the, most of the parties do not have a single representation in the either in the uh, respective assemblies or in the parliament. So, why they are doing this? Because they know writing is on the wall. They are, that is why Prime Minister coming with this kind of undignified, indecent and loose language of a loser. The, in, uh, but we don't worry about what Prime Minister is saying. We know we represent India, be the India against the Narendra Modi's divisive hatred idea of India. See, the Manipur is burning, but Prime Minister is running away from the parliament. He is afraid to face the parliament. We have never seen in the, uh, as you say, contemporary history, never we have seen a Prime Minister who is afraid, uh, afraid and scared to speak in the floor of the parliament, who is hiding uh, behind the Home, Home Minister Amit Shah. Uh, my colleague from the PJP says Amit Shah is a great leader, is very senior leader, but he is the Minister who miserably failed. He is the Home Minister. He is charge of this uh, um, Home Ministry, but he couldn't do anything. Let me let me quote but, her, what BJP MLAs from Manipur are saying. They are saying the government of Manipur, the BJP government, the BJP Chief Minister, who is complicit to this violence, and the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has the misplaced priority. This is we are not uh, Congress Party is not saying this. <coughs> Alliance India Alliance is not saying this. This is from the BJP lawmakers no, of but Manipur. Jodhimani, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it the, op isn't the opposition's Accusing cause, ma'am? Ma ma isn't the opposition's own cause no, better can't. served if you actually have a debate whether the Home Minister responds to it or the Prime Minister responds to it or the Defence Minister responds to it? Have a debate instead of setting this precondition that you know we will only have a debate if person X or Y or Z will speak in Parliament and only then the debate will follow. You're actually you know undermining your own cause. And the cause has to be that, there, uh, that a so debate has to happen on Manipur. Zaka, see, this situation is very not normal situation. And we cannot listen to, why do we have to listen to the answer of the failed uh, Home Minister who couldn't control the violence almost near three months. Manipur is burning. Like Sushmi rightly pointed out, there is a very strong impact in Mizoram. That is why we are all very concerned because there are very sensitive state always. We, uh, there is a historical reason to it. You can't deal with a very sensitive state like this. He okay. is completely miserably failed. Rahulji went to uh, Manipur. Probably he is the only leader in the country who can reach out uh, both the communities and able to um, uh, accepted by the people when Dhaka. he went to Manipur then people actually okay. cried to him why can't Prime Minister at least you can't come to Parliament you can't come and speak you are afraid you are scared you don't want to make a statement I don't why don't you come and tell in come to the Parliament and tell people of Manipur through the floor of the Parliament be the Prime I am the Prime Minister I am the charge of this country we are with you don't lose hope I will take okay. the responsibility will, uh, and do the damage to the to we will bring uh, this that's exactly this. we wanted yeah. uh, to <coughs> Prime Minister tell this, nothing more. No, okay, Zaka, G will respond. What is the problem in Prime yeah. Minister telling okay. this? Okay, got it, got it. I think people of the country can see which party and whose uh, leaders are frustrated, whose spokespersons are frustrated. They are not able to maintain even a, a, a dignity in their uh, discourse. And look at the manner why, see, let me ask counter questions. What is this name, India? 
why was upa dropped have you been ashamed of this name that you carried so far as upa have your partners the new partners that you have found have they said this upa is a disaster we don't want to use this name have they said congress itself is a congress itself is such a uh, su such a, uh, a setback for us we don't want to do anything with the congress party has anybody accepted leadership of rahul gandhi is this new alliance ashamed of rahul gandhi ashamed of sonia gandhi have they why have they not been chosen as the alliance you don't worry about that we will take care of the, of the alliance i can ask you so many questions who will answer it's really deplorable yeah it is the minister <laughs> concerned it is the minister concerned who responds to any debate in parliament prime minister any time he chooses to speak on a subject he can speak but nobody can blackmail but parliament functions according to debate according to a dialogue with the opposition but it cannot subject itself to blackmail okay. and by by not allowing a debate on manipur you are a question of blackmail here why you are saying like you using this word manipur yeah. from having a discussion in parliament okay let me bring in uh, raghav chadda of the aam aadmi party once 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 again gentlemen gentlemen Suppose once again let, let, let me bring in raghav chadda of the aam aadmi party this the sansad showdown raghav has been going on for the last 4 days Ridiculous clearly argument. there is no resolution Ridiculous in sight argument. Now we are hearing that the India Alliance is pushing for a no conference motion. Please explain to our viewers what is the purpose, what is the intent of this no conference motion? Because you have a government on the other side which has 330 MPs in the Lok Sabha. Clearly, they are not short of numbers. There is no lack of confidence in their majority in the House. The only reason you are doing this is to get to the Prime Minister to speak on the issue of Manipur. The BJP is saying the only reason you are doing this is to embarrass the government and to embarrass the Prime Minister. Please respond to that charge. No, no, there is no embarrassment. Once again, Raghav, Raghav, Raghav. No confidence motion is brought about or not is something that we'll only know once the motion is moved. Uh, I think it would be uh, improper to second guess what the honourable members of parliament uh, sitting on the non-treasury benches in the Lok Sabha are planning to do. Point number one. Point number two. I think collectively the entire non-NDA group, that is the India Alliance. is uh, seeking only one thing which is that the honorable prime minister comes to the house addresses the house on the critical issue of manipur and a uh, you know long duration not a short duration discussion is convened on the burning issue of a critical border state an integral part of india that is the state of manipur the members that are demanding a discussion are being mercilessly suspended in the rarest of the rare occasions do uh, you know weapons like suspension of an honorable member of parliament are used by the chair it is usually used in matters of uh, you know when members are either engaging in an act of violence harming someone abusive filthy language is being used uh, you know mics are being broken or books and resolutions are being torn apart and thrown on the face of the chair so on and so forth but in this case we see that in order to seek a discussion on manipur when a member of parliament of my party mr sanjay singh walked towards the chair the chair uh, on the motion moved by the leader of the house mr piyush goel deemed it appropriate to suspend him i think it's most unfair and i would appeal to the honorable chairman for whom we have the greatest amount of respect to kindly reconsider his decision point uh, point number 2 uh, zaka is that you know uh, we have been saying this uh, for the last 4 days today was day 4 of the monsoon session that a lot of man ki baat has happened a lot of man ki baat has happened today we want manipur ki baat at least once when the parliament is in session the government should come and discuss the burning issue of manipur parliaments across the world some very uh, you know uh, developed nations big countries big democracies have discussed the issue of manipur in their respective parliaments rightly or wrongly we can discuss or debate whether that's right or wrong but they have discussed this issue and it's most unfortunate that the indian parliament is running away from a discussion or the the those who sit on the treasury benches that okay. is the government of the day the ruling party is running away from a discussion on manipur no but